This has left a metro area family devastated, wondering who hit their son and left. KCCI's Jason Rantala spoke exclusively with the family. He's here now with their plea. The victim in Saturday's hit and run was 21 year old Warner Robinson. Now, his entire family just wants the person who did this to come forward. I can't imagine what you're having to do, but understand that we are to forgive. Those are the words of Warner Robinson's mom, Heather Berg, who says she just wants whoever struck and killed her son to come forward. My precious blessing laying face down in the road. I just want it to be close. In this exclusive video, you can see this white Dodge Avenger traveling at a high rate of speed, moments after allegedly hitting 21 year old Warner Robinson. Just 35 seconds after Robinson was hit, a passing motorist notices something wrong. More than 24 hours later, a family. Right now, we're all uh, just a bit numb, really. Is left reeling. When he hugged you, he just never wanted to let go. He just. He always just uplifted everybody. It's a phone call from her husband, Mom Heather Berg, will never forget. And he said something really bad's happened, and I said, okay. And he said, Warner's been killed. And I just, I lost it. Wake up one morning, and just, you get a call that your brother isn't here anymore, and you just don't really know how to act, what to do, what to say. His family says Warner enjoyed dancing, hanging out with friends and family, and catching that giant fish. Older brother Wyatt says people were just drawn to him. He had a heart of gold. Just loved his brothers more than anything. He loved his family. He put his family first. He just had a sparkle in his eyes. He had the most beautiful blue eyes. Now mom sitting alongside longtime friend Kim and hundreds of friends and family are left to wonder who would do this. How do you do that to someone who loves so much and, and just leave them there to die? How do you just do that? Whoever's done this, we're praying for you. To one police say the car involved in the hit and run has been impounded, but they are still looking for whoever was driving that car at the time. Anyone with info is asked to call Polk County Crime Stoppers or Des Moines Police. Live in the newsroom, Jason Rantel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.